Hey, welcome to the Firearms Firebox again. It's been a couple weeks since I did a video. Um, initially, when I did my first video, um, I'd never done a YouTube video, so I decided to try it out, see what was all involved, and uh, kind of enjoyed it. So um, I made the videos making my pistol AR, and uh, then just kind of got a little bit busy, but I also kind of ran out of ideas. Um, I don't like doing the same thing over and over. There's countless videos on YouTube that talk about, you know, reloading, building ARs, you know, just you name it. It's it's out there, and I I would like to try something different. You know, that might be a little bit hard to completely different. Um, but uh, anyway, so I've just been kind of mulling over different ideas. I've got a couple ideas. Um, I'm always open to suggestions, but um, I would. I thought I would just kind of show my reloading bench and um, when I first started reloading um, about two years ago, I haven't been doing it long, it was kind of uh, re reading books and looking at pictures and videos, things like that, and just kind of figuring things out on my own. Um, you know, one thing that uh, I did learn was uh, to start out is have a nice place to reload. Um, doing it uh, on a coffee table or, you know, some card table, something like that just isn't isn't the best way of doing it i know it's done but um i wanted something that uh was strong and sturdy and that i could do other things on so i i built this uh reloading bench and um i got it from a company called two by four basics i'll put a link down below and what it is it's a kit it comes with um the legs on the left side you see there and then there's another one there on the right side but Basically, what you do is using two by fours, make your bench whatever size you want. I took it to the nth degree, I think. Um, instead of just having a two by fours run straight across, um, I used those four brackets there. There's actually more in back, but I made a, a cut out there so I could put a chair in there, put my feet, and added the shelves. Um, and then it also came with some uh, brackets so you can make the shelving like that. Um, I used two by twelves on the shelving. Um, this desk, if I ever sell this house, uh, it's not coming with me. It's going to stay here. Um, it's a three-quarter inch oak top. Uh, it weighs a ton, and I don't think I could even dis disassemble it if I wanted to. So this will be to whoever buys this house in the future. Nice little gift for them. Um, anyway, so on my reloading bench, um, like I said, it's made by... The parts come from 2x4 Basics, and, you know, it's I'm kind of an organizational freak. Um, you know, over here on this side, here's my uh, a lot of my brass. It's already been sized and primed. Um, it's just waiting to be loaded. It doesn't hurt the brass to, to do that. Um, I've got them in those containers, and I also have a desk kit pack in each one just to absorb any moisture that should get in there, but it's it's not going to hurt hurt the primers at all just to sit in the open like that. Um, I use a lot of distilled water and ultrasonic cleaner and then there's some paint thinners and different things like that there. And then I've got some of my uh, ammo boxes down here and um, some little other miscellaneous components. Um, on my, uh, I've got a rock chucker and um, I've got a few custom things on here. Uh, the first thing is this primer catch um, is a uh, an aftermarket 3d printed primer catch um, the one that comes with the rock chucker in my opinion is junk you'll be picking up spent primers all the time they'll just keep popping out this one I've never had a problem with um, primers go down inside here and uh, they fall fall down this tube in this little collection device and um, the other thing I have is it's called a rapid pace kicker uh, you can get this on eBay but basically what this does is when you're pushing up on the the upstroke on your primer, it pops the case or on your on your reloader, um, it p punches the case out. And this uh, works really well, um, especially when you're deep priming or resizing anything like that. Um, it makes your little single stage press look like the big boys. You can really fly. Um, there's also let me grab this here a little uh, chute that comes with it that fits on here and um, It'll just wrap around that post there, but the, the chute comes down into a bucket that I have sitting right here. So um, you can really move with that. And uh, if you have a single stage press, I'd actually recommend getting that. Um, there's there's a lot of YouTube videos out there on that, um, but it works really well. And then over here, um, I have my uh, die set up, and I got this uh, these organizers from home depot and on here i have uh, basically my dies and then the accessories like 
shell holders, things like that, that go along with those dies. Um, it's really quick to grab to grab what you need. Um, and again, like I said, I'm kind of an organizational freak, and so um, you can grab those things in there, and away you go. I just didn't like the idea of having the dies in the, the boxes that they come in and having to open them every time. And then there's, uh, of course, my uh, Yeti cup with a nice little AR skin on there. And uh, I'm addicted to Red Bull, and it's, uh, it's a lovely drink called the Red Bull Blast. It's a mixture of strawberry syrup, Red Bull, and orange juice. Seem like I live off those anymore, but um, anyways, uh, so over here got uh, all my punches and small screwdrivers, uh, Allen wrenches, you name it, uh, I've got it in this. And what this was, was a TV remote box, um, whole TV remotes. And I took it and uh, adapted it to this. Um, what I found is these little black things are uh, cable management uh, pieces. And they've got a little adhesive back and what I found is put them on here. You can actually hold different pieces and uh, use it to organize the inside of this box. Works really well. And then I've got all kinds of pens, pencils, you name it, it's in there. Um, that was my uh, first attempt at uh, gunpowder burning. Um, just pour gunpowder down on some wood, make your uh, little design light it on fire, and lo and behold, that's what you have. And then um, added that, this was a little addition that works really well. Um, it's just a power box, uh, but it has two USB ports in there, so you can charge your phone. Or um, the other thing I really like is this was made by Goal Zero. It's just a little portable LED light, but where it really helps out um, is when, after I load the cases with powder, I can put them down here, and then with that light, I can examine all the cases fairly quick to make sure they have powder in them and also that they're not double charged. And then over to here have um, all my bullets, and this didn't take long to fill up. Um, I've got some 380 ACP bullets there that I got to find a home for. Um, as you get into more and more reloading, you'll try different bullets or um, even powders, different things like that. But uh, I've kind of narrowed it down to a little bit what I like, but uh, there's still some odds and ends in there. And then just uh, different accessories, more reloading trays. Um, this guy here, like I said, this bench, I wanted it to kind of be a multi-purpose bench. Um, but I also wanted to keep the, the big area that I have on there to do work. And so what I incorporated into this, under this pad, is um, are some T-nuts in the top of the desk. And what that will allow me to do is there are some, some bolts down underneath here. So I can take and um, attach this onto here, and I've got some extra screws to tighten it down up here. But um, So when I want to work on an AR, I can bolt this down to the desk, put the AR up here, do my work, and when I'm done, take that off, take the bolts down, put this pad over, and uh, lo and behold, you have a whole surface, and don't even know it's there. So um, just a little... Thing that I tried and it works pretty well. I've also got another spot when I'm sharpening my knives over here that I can do the same thing. This little um, Lansky knife sharpening system I have, I can set it over here and bolt that down and sharpen my knives that way. And of course, um, a vise. Everybody needs a vise. Um, and uh, also include on there. And then up here, I've got all my uh, cleaning supplies along with uh, cleaners and oils, different things like that. And then my scales for uh, measuring powder. This is a digital scale and this is just a beam scale. I'll kind of use those back and forth. I'll make sure, I'll measure like my digital scale. I use most of the time, but I'll, I'll check it against the beam scale just to make sure it's accurate. Up here, um, when I go to lube cases, uh, I saw this somewhere on YouTube, but rather than doing them one at a time or um, like on a towel or something like that, I'll put about a dozen cases in here spray the powder or excuse me spray the loop through these holes kind of shake them around and um does a really good job you can do quite a few and uh it doesn't dry out very quick because i'll i'll grab my case out here close the lid and uh go on that way so it moves pretty quick that way of course radio satellite radio um if you don't know what that is uh, rocky mountain reloading they uh make bullets here in lewiston idaho and uh, every time you get an order, you'll get a little piece of hand-drawn artwork. Um, kind of become known for that. It's kind of funny to see all the different posts when people get their orders. They're always posting their artwork that they got.
And then, of course, the little plastic trays. I've got uh, all my primers and this one over here has some more cleaning supplies and miscellaneous, miscellaneous knick-knack, things like that. Um, and then I build ARs too, so I've got all kinds of parts. And uh, I'm one of those, kind of tough for me to throw away different things. Um, I've got, oh, you name it, I could probably build two or three ARs with all the parts I got in there. Just need the, the receivers. But, um, so that's just a little bit of my bench. And... Uh, I think I'm going to do kind of a little bit of on what I do as far as uh, my log, reloading log, what I what I write down and um, how I do that. And uh, if you have any suggestions or um, would like to see something, I, please let me know. Um, I'll see what I can do and uh, just kind of let this channel go as it goes. And appreciate all you watching and comments. And remember... Um, Contact your senators so we can work on getting our uh, suppressors back to uh, to the legal side and uh, or excuse me not the legal side but just so we can get them without having to go through all the paperwork. I know there's a little bit of push for that. There's a petition online right now on WhiteHouse.gov to repeal the Hughes Amendment. Um, so uh, please get involved that way because. Uh, we have a great chance right now to get some of these back and uh, versus what the what I thought was going to happen. So please contact your center's representatives and thank you for watching.